So in this first video, I'm just going to set up the very basic system that we're going to use to model uh, the situation of a lift going up and down through the floors of a multi-storey building. Now, in a very basic sense, a lift is effectively just a rectangular box. So that's what we'll use as our model in this case. Then obviously people get into the lift uh, at either the ground floor or any other floor. And overall, that box with the people in it, we're going to say is going to have a mass of m kilograms. Now, obviously, that mass of m kilograms of the lift and the people in the uh, in the lift obviously relates to a weight. Now, obviously, everything gets pulled to the centre of the Earth, and using f equals ma, the acceleration has been the acceleration due to gravity, we'll have a force of mg acting downwards. Now, obviously, the lift will be attached to some kind of rope, string, or wire that's light and extensible in this case, and that will be our tension that pulls the lift upwards. Um, then we would always mark on the acceleration of the lift. Um, now in the main, we usually start with saying that a lift will start. The motor at the top of the building will accelerate the lift up to a constant speed. And then as it reaches its destination, it, the motor will then decelerate the lift till it reaches its uh, destination floor with a smooth deceleration. So the acceleration does vary over the course of the journey, but we'll look at the three stages of that journey in the next video. What I want to do here is just set up the system that we're going to use. So I think that makes relative sense that we've got our rectangle box for our lift, the tension lift cable, the weight acting down, and the acceleration acting upwards if this was the 